Is it really easy for you to obtain Adderall? Yes, actually. I mean, now I have it prescribed, so I get a refill every month, month and a half. Is it easy for you to obtain Adderall whenever you feel like you need it? Yes. My okay. good friend is prescribed a lot of Adderall. I, I don't even think about the consequences because it's just the type of thing that I'm not going to get caught doing it. There's so many people at this college that get prescribed to it. So many people have it. So many people are doing the same thing. And is it easy for you to get the Adderall? Yes. I even know people who don't have a prescription, and it's, it's fairly easy to get it, especially on a college campus. I mean, everybody has a friend who has it or a friend of a friend. How many people do you know who do Adderall and, like, who abuse Adderall? Um, pretty much all my friends. I'm, like, the only one that doesn't. So I don't advertise the fact. I don't go out of my way to get people to buy Adderall for me. I look at it as like I'm doing a favor to people. If a college student is prescribed it legitimately and they choose to sell it illegally, I mean, it's, it's difficult to control that. It's a small pill and, you know, somebody could just sell it in a private setting, so it would be very difficult to enforce any kind of law against that. Obviously, it's the type of thing you don't want to get caught you, you would never want to get caught doing something like that. So, you know, you'd be secretive about it, you'd be smart, and just only deal with your friends. Adderall is a commonly used medication to treat ADHD and narcolepsy, but it's also been found to enhance the ability to study for long hours and ability to concentrate and prevent distractibility. Adderall comes two different ways. It comes in what they call immediate release, and it comes in a number of different strengths from 5 milligrams, 7 and a half, 10, 15, 20s, 25s, 30s, and it comes in what's called an extended release. The difference being this, um, when you take a, an immediate release tablet, it spikes in your system. So the, the drug is released pretty much all at once, and you know, you'll have it over a shorter period of time. The extended release tablets, when it gets released, it gets released in your body over, over a period of, let's say, 12 hours. And it, it's constant. It's consistent with all, throughout the day the amount of dose that you're getting. So depending upon, again, what the doctor feels you need, you'll be prescribed either of the two. When I first got prescribed to Adderall, my doctor gave me a 20 milligrams extended release. And uh, it turned out not to be enough because towards like late afternoon, I'd get really, really tired. I would crash really hard. So I would get a 10 milligram instant release each day. Two uh, doses turn out to be 60 pills each month. The extended release comes in a capsule, and the capsule's filled with a lot of beads. And the beads are really hard, and they take a while to uh, digest in your body. I never really snort the extended release capsule. I mean, I have done it a couple times. What I've done is I've opened up the capsule and poured the beads into tin foil, and. Uh, banged it with a hammer against a hard surface and what that does is then you unfold the paper and do it again and again and just keep consolidating and hitting it with the hammer and even though the beads are really really hard you keep doing it like that it does get it into a really 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 fine powder and that's what a lot and that's what a lot of kids don't realize is that you know in college and stuff you know when you take recreational stuff or if you try if they're trying you know you know because their roommate has it you can't. That's you know you shouldn't because you don't know how you're going to react to it, and it could end up hurting you. Well, if they feel they really have a, a problem with uh, attention deficit disorder, hyperactivity disorder, or uh, narcolepsy, they should just get a real screening 
done at their doctor's office and see if they would really meet the criteria to be treated and to take the medication at the correct dose and minimize the potential adverse reactions. I know that two of the major things they prescribe it for are ADHD and narcolepsy, but uh, that doesn't, doesn't mean that anybody can say they have ADD or ADHD, go to a doctor and say, I have it, and you get Adderall. I mean, it might be pretty easy to do that. That might have been one of the things that I did to get it, but uh, I guess that anybody that wants to put on an act can get it. It's one of those coded evaluations that says if uh, you cert answer this way or that way, you lean to two sides of the scale, and uh, it's pretty apparent by the questions what they're trying to ask and why. It's pretty easy if you want to get it to uh, feign a diagnosis. The drug is considered um, what in the New York State a control uh, substance. So it's, it's a Schedule II controlled substance, which means it's treated like a narcotic. So if you're caught trying to sell this or giving it out, um, it's considered a Class E felony. I've never gone out of my way to sell it. I've never sent texts to people saying, hey, I have Adderall, $7 or 20 milligrams, come get it. If one of my friends that knows I'm prescribed to it texts me and says, hey, can I get a couple Adderalls? I'll be like, yeah, come by my apartment. If I'm going to be on campus, uh, I'll, I'll let them know. I'll be like, yeah, meet me here. I'll give it to you. And uh, if I have friends over my apartment and we're buying something, I mean, it, it's an asset. It has monetary value. So if I mean I, I need food, I'll give a couple of my friends get me food, you know. If my friend has weed and we want to smoke weed, I say, here, here's two Adderalls for my hat, you know. It, it's an asset. It's... <laughs> I, I don't go around advertising. I'm not a shady person like the guy that sells Adderall, but, you know, if somebody that knows me wants it, I can give it to them. <laughs> Nothing else matters but the work you in front of you. Um, you basically have a set mission, and you nothing else distracts you from doing that. If you don't feel like getting out of bed in the morning and going to class, I find Adderall makes you just have the energy to do that. I mean, it gives you energy to stay up all night when you'd otherwise fall asleep. You know, if you have shit to do, <laughs> you take Adderall, it makes it easier. I mean, I find it does a lot more to you than just that. I mean, if you look at all the side effects of Adderall, I wouldn't really call it a wonder drug. So, some things, the uh, negative outweigh the positive, and I think that this is definitely one of them. For one, you never sleep on Adderall. I mean, if you like being nocturnal and going to sleep when most other people are waking up to start their days and you like sleeping your days away and being up all night, then you can call it a wonder drug. It's insomnia. It's what it does because it's stimulating your central nervous system. Because basically what it does is it plays with the, it affects the chemicals in your brain. So, so it makes you more focused. It makes you hyper. A lot of people that take it, they experience um, increased heart rate. Their heart will pound. And that's why they take it because it's kind of like a... If you're not no, not used to it, it's kind of like a rush. It's kind of like, a, oh my God, you know, I'm I'm on adrenaline almost. Since it would it would get me going so much, I would chain smoke cigarettes. As a result, I smoked occasionally before I started taking Adderall. You know, a couple cigarettes here, a couple cigarettes go out to drink. After I started taking Adderall, all of a sudden I'm smoking ten cigarettes a day, fifteen cigarettes a day. You know, you can you're it's gonna it's gonna affect your mood, crazy. It's gonna it's gonna either make you extremely happy or extremely sad when you come off of it. Definitely affects mood. You get so much angrier. Those little things that like bother you normally, whether somebody cuts me off in a car, when you're on Adderall, they feel 10 times worse. You get so much angrier. I remember at the end of last semester, I was up for two consecutive days. After my last final, I went to uh, the bookstore and tried to sell my $500 worth of textbooks back. and. The woman at the bookstore tells me that she's not going to take back, they don't take back three of the brand new books I bought because they're old editions. And the other two books are worth a total of $200. She says that she'll give me $30 total. Now somebody that normally would be like, you know, all right, I'll take my books back. I'll sell them online. I'll make more money. Somebody that just normally like, they're upset about it, but they just let it go. Being strung out on Adderall like that, that woman at the bookstore, I went off. I, I think I told her to get me a book of matches because I'd rather take the books outside and burn them on the sidewalk than, than let her give me $20 for my $500 for the textbooks. But 
again, it just sometimes just puts you on the warpath. So, you know, just because your friends are taking it, you know, you have to weigh the consequences. You might take this and everybody's different how they're going to react. So you might take a medication and you might be fine because you need it or it might react fine in your body. I might take the same medication, have hallucinations, you know, have the heart rate, have anaphylaxis and die.